This video does not replace the instructions for use, which provide important information describing how to use your Repatha SureClick. Prior to using your Repatha SureClick, it's important that you review the instructions for use in full and call your doctor or 1-844-REPATHA if you have any questions. Hi, I'm Misty. I've been a Repatha patient for three years, and today I'm gonna to show you how to take your Repatha injection using a SureClick auto injector. When you receive your Repatha, you should put it in the refrigerator right away. When you're ready for your injection, you need to remove your Repatha SureClick auto injector for at least 30 minutes. This is important for administering the entire dose and helps minimize discomfort. Some people like to use the timer on their phone, but you can actually leave it out for up to 30 days. So I like to take mine out of the refrigerator the night before so that it's ready and waiting for me first thing in the morning. Either way, it's important to let it come to room temperature naturally. Don't rub it or put it in the microwave or under running water. So now let me show you the auto injector. When you open the carton, you'll find that there are instructions for use right inside. You can refer to these. But today I'm going to show you. Once you remove the injector from the carton, take a look at it. This is the gray start button. This is the expiration date. This is the window where you can see the medicine. This is the bottom with the orange cap covering the yellow needle guard. Make sure that the cap is secure. Then take a look at the auto injector for any cracks or breaks. Do not use the auto injector if any part appears cracked or broken. Do not use the auto injector if it has been dropped. Do not use the auto injector if the orange cap is missing or not securely attached. And finally, inspect the window to make sure that the fluid is clear. Do not use the auto injector if the medicine is cloudy or discolored or contains particles. If it's slightly yellow, that's okay. When you're ready to begin your injection, wash your hands thoroughly with soap and water. You're going to need alcohol wipes, gauze pads or cotton balls, bandages, and a sharps container. You also need to decide where you want to give the injection. There are three different locations that you can use to give the injection. Your thigh, your stomach, except for the two inch area around your belly button, or your upper arm. Remember that if you want to do it in your upper arm, you need to have somebody else give you the injection. So I like to give the injection in my stomach. So the first thing that you need to do is clean the injection site with an alcohol pad. Then when you're ready to inject, you take the cap off. Remember that after you take off the cap, you have to give the injection within five minutes. If you don't, the needle may dry out and the injection may not be successful. So when you're ready, take off the cap. You may see a drop of liquid on the yellow needle guard or on the tip of the needle. That's okay. When you're ready to inject, pinch an area of skin about two inches wide. Place the auto injector on your skin at 90 degrees. The needle is inside the yellow safety guard. Do not touch the gray start button yet. Position it in your hand so that you can see the window. This is how you'll check to see if the injection is complete. Firmly push down the auto injector onto the skin until it stops moving, or else the gray start button will not activate. When you're ready, press the gray button. You're gonna hear a click. You may hear a second click, or you can count to 15, but the best way to know that the injection is complete is to watch the yellow window. Once the window is completely yellow, you can remove the auto injector from your skin. If you see a drop of blood, you can use the gauze or a cotton ball, press it on your skin. You can use a bandage if you want. Then it's time to discard the auto injector. Place it in the sharps container, along with the orange cap. And that's it, you're all done. Important safety information. Do not use Repatha if you are allergic to Evolocumab or to any of the ingredients in Repatha.
Before you start using Repatha, tell your healthcare provider about all your medical conditions, including if you're allergic to rubber or latex, are pregnant or plan to become pregnant, or are breastfeeding or plan to breastfeed. The needle cover is on the single-dose pre-filled syringes, and the inside of the needle caps on the single-dose pre-filled sure-click auto-injectors contain dry natural rubber. The single-dose Pushtronic system, on-body infuser with pre-filled cartridge, is not made with natural rubber latex. Tell your healthcare provider or pharmacist about any prescription and over-the-counter medicines, vitamins, or herbal supplements you take. What are the possible side effects of Repatha? Repatha can cause serious side effects, including serious allergic reactions. Stop taking Repatha and call your healthcare provider or seek emergency help right away if you have any of these symptoms. Trouble breathing or swallowing, raised bumps, hives, rash or itching, swelling of the face, lips, tongue, throat, or arms. The most common side effects of Repatha include runny nose, sore throat, symptoms of the common cold, flu or flu-like symptoms, back pain, high blood sugar levels, diabetes, and redness, pain, or bruising at the injection site. Tell your health care provider if you have any side effect that bothers you or that does not go away. These are not all the possible side effects of Repatha. Ask your health care provider or pharmacist for more information. Call your health care provider for medical advice about side effects. You are encouraged to report negative side effects of prescription drugs to the FDA. Visit www.fda.gov medwatch or call 1-800-FDA-1088. Indications. What is Repatha? Repatha is an injectable prescription medicine used in adults with cardiovascular disease to reduce the risk of heart attack, stroke, and certain types of heart surgery. Along with diet alone, or together with other cholesterol-lowering medicines in adults with high blood cholesterol levels called primary hyperlipidemia, including a type of high cholesterol called heterozygous familial hypercholesterolemia, HEFH to reduce low-density lipoprotein, LDL, or bad cholesterol. Please see full prescribing information. If you have any other questions that I haven't answered today or that you can't find in your instructions for use, you can call 1-844-REPATHA or go to www.repatha.com. Thank you.